competition for entry-level data analytics jobs is intense. Everyone wants the same title, but here's the thing, you don't need to be a data analyst to start your data career. There are dozens of lesser known roles and even more than that, that where you can work with data, build your experience and create a portfolio that will get you noticed and promoted to a higher paying job. Let's dive into 17 non-conventional roles that will launch your journey into data analytics. I'm Jeff and I first became a data analyst over 13 years ago. I started out as a temp data entry worker and eventually worked my way up to become a business analyst consultant at a Fortune 500 healthcare company where I am today. I'm on a mission to help 10,000 people break into data analytics and I want you to be one of them. So hit that subscribe button because each week I share practical tips and strategies to help you land your data job. So here's the truth. A data analyst title is just one path into the field. Many roles have the same tools and skills as data analytics, but just go by different names or just might be at a junior level and just pay a little bit less. But when you're first starting, you just want to get your experience so you can transition into that juicy tech job and to a better company. These jobs can help you get hands-on experience with data, work with stakeholders, and even build a portfolio that you need to land a better data job in the future. Plus, these roles come with unique perks. You get to learn industry-specific skills, develop expertise in tools like SQL, Tableau, Python, and even gain insights into the business and business strategy, which is valuable because it'll set yourself apart from all of the competition. Let's break down these roles and what they offer and how they can build your skills for a data analytics job and career path. So before I go into all 17 of these different roles, just know that there are more than these beyond these 17 roles. These are just the ones I see that are common and that I have experience with. So just know it's not limited to this and some of these roles might be under a different title. You just have to see that it works with data. First one I'm gonna talk about is going to be operations analyst. This focuses on improving business processes, using data to identify inefficiencies and also recognize recommend solutions. You'll get to work directly with stakeholders to analyze operational data and then optimize workflows and then also sharpening both your technical and communication skills because you get to host meetings and then lead a lot of projects. Two is gonna be a marketing analyst or marketing operations. This is where you're gonna be analyzing different campaign performance, customer segmentation, and then sales metrics. Here, it's gonna help you get exposure to some consumer data and also business strategy on the marketing side making you a well-rounded analyst if you want to go work with campaigns, get to do all the A-B testing, and eventually become a data scientist leading in a marketing specialty. Three is gonna be sales operation analyst. You get to work with sales data to forecast revenue, track KPIs, and optimize sales processes. You'll be working with CRM tools, customer relationship management tools like Salesforce, and you'll be able to develop an expertise in these sales metrics that directly impact business growth through sales of products and other services. Four is gonna be financial analyst. This combines finance with operational data to guide decision-making. Again, here is something unique. It's going to be financial sales modeling and financial modeling in general. Here, you're gonna build a strong foundation in financial analysis and in your presentation skills. Next is gonna be five reporting analysts. You're gonna focus on creating dashboards, creating insights for decision makers through reports. Here, you're usually gonna be using Tableau, Power BI, SQL, Excel, report automation, and you're gonna sharpen your skills in creating impactful visualizations and learn how to automate reports potentially. Six is the e-commerce analyst. This is where you're gonna analyze online sales, consumer behavior, website performance, Google Analytics, SQL, A-B testing, visualization tools. This also gives you a hands-on experience with real-world customer data and transactional data, but specifically targeted towards e-commerce. Seven is customer success analyst. This is where you track customer satisfaction, churn rates, and engagement metrics. Again, a lot of these are gonna be the same thing, but data visualization, Excel, customer insight tools. Here you get to build expertise in consumer analytics, and again, stakeholder communication. Eight, which is similar to a lot of these, but slightly different, is a product analyst. Here you get to work with product teams, become a product owner to analyze user engagement and then improve the features for the users that you serve. Here you're gonna get experience in data-driven decision-making for the product development side. Nine is gonna be a data entry specialist with analytic add-ons. So what I mean by this is, 
Data entry is going to be basic, but you're gonna have the ability to add cleaning, analysis, automations to transform the role and make it significantly easier. This is actually where I started. And because of my computer skills and the fact that I could learn on the job pretty fast, I was able to move and get promoted and eventually work as the assistant under the data analyst. It's just gonna be a longer career path because you have to prove yourself. You have to go through the mundane and the boring to be able to eventually work your way up into the data roles that you want. Next is 10 supply chain analysts. This is where you're gonna be optimizing logistics, inventory, procurement, using operational data. Again, a lot of things that you're gonna be working with is going to leverage Excel, ERP systems and SQL. This is gonna give you exposure to real world optimizations for the supply chain specifically. So if that's something that interests you and you wanna go into that field, this is one of those places where you can get that exposure. 11 is gonna be social media analysts. This is where you're gonna analyze engagement metrics, trends and campaign performance, Google Analytics. It could be your different ad platforms, social media platforms, and then Excel. Here you build expertise specifically in digital data and trend analysis as well as potentially uh, leads and online ads. 12 is gonna be healthcare data roles. This could be anything from a claims analyst, a healthcare reporting analyst, healthcare business analyst. Here you get to focus on patient outcomes, claims, operational data in healthcare, and it also depends on what segment in healthcare. There's a whole bunch of niches that you can go into. It is one of those fields that is under tapped and not that many people talk about. In this role, you're gonna get domain specific experience in a high demand industry, healthcare, and it's resilient in rough economic times, so you're less prone to getting laid off. 13 is business intelligence intern or analyst. Usually a business intelligence analyst isn't going to be an entry level job and it's gonna be harder to get into, but there are gonna be certain companies, smaller companies especially, that you might be able to get into this role. Here you can, you're gonna generate insights through dashboards, data reports. You're gonna be working a lot with Tableau or Power BI and then SQL. But here you get the technical skills plus you get to present on those skills as well. 14 is fraud analyst. This is where you get to identify trends and fraudulent activities using data patterns. Here you're gonna use SQL, anomaly detection, Python or potentially R. And then you get this a very specialized niche that's in high in demand that offers specialized experience in pattern recognition that's a little bit different from all the other roles and analyst roles that we're talking about. 15 is going to be a pricing analyst. Here is where you're going to work with optimizing pricing strategies using historical and market data. Again, you're going to be working with Excel, SQL, data visualization. This is also going to teach you how to apply those analytics to revenue management specifically. 16 is research analyst where you get to assist in academic or industry specific research projects by collecting and analyzing research data. Here, you're gonna be doing data cleaning, statistical analysis, a lot more statistical analysis and different from these other analyst roles. And you're gonna be utilizing potentially R and Python as well. Here, you're gonna get an experience working with structured and also unstructured data because you have to find trends and then see the different correlations and associations based on the research and then translate that to business outcomes. 17 is gonna be technical support or implementation specialist. So this is going to depend on the company, but if you're working with data, you have the potential to make a very standard job to apply and automate different processes for the calls that you're gonna be on or the different projects and the different clients that you serve. So here you're gonna deploy and troubleshoot data tools or software and issues from clients. Here you need, you're gonna have an understanding of databases, potentially technical problem solving and different platforms that the, that company specializes in. Here you build expertise in data systems, troubleshooting and a potential for you to automate manual work and systems because you have a lot of repetitive tasks that you're doing. One of the things that I want to note is many of these roles you'll find lower positions potentially for. Just look for titles like associate, junior, assistant, or coordinator. These can be great entry points as well. So you want to always double check that the job still involves working with data. So if you found this list helpful, check out my next video on why you're not getting hired in data analytics for even more tips on how to break into the field. So watch that now.